okay, so you've got the hang of that, but now you need to do negative angles. So for instance, find the exact value of cos negative 300. Well, it's pretty straightforward. It's this first step that changes. Draw the angle on the unit circle. Because it's negative 300 degrees, it's a negative angle. You're not moving this way, that's a positive angle. You're moving this way, it's a negative angle. Negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, 300. Every step after this is the same. Find the reference angle, the acute angle between the x-axis and the line. That's 60 degrees, that's three, that's, sorry, that's negative 300 there. Apply cast, C-A-S-T. It's in the all quadrant, so it's definitely going to be positive. All things that appear in there are going to be positive. Write the equivalence. Cos negative 300 is equal to cos reference angle, 60 degrees, and we're in the all quadrant, so it's positive. Cos 60, one half. Dealing with negative ang angles is not going to be difficult at all. The only thing that changes is this first step. Move in this direction, not this direction. Easy days.